The Cableway and its stations are an extraordinary engineering achievement. Table Mountain gives the impression of being a solid chunk of rock, but it is mainly sandstone and there are often rockfalls. The little rocky outcrop that the upper Cableway station is perched on would be under incredible strain from the Cableway. To avoid the Cableway building being pulled off the mountain, two huge bollards anchored to a concrete block and secured with seven rock anchors penetrating deep into the mountain were constructed just beyond the Cableway station. This transfers the massive horizontal force from the upper station to the mountain and takes the weight of the unbelievably heavy cable and the cars. So, horizontal force moves through the Cableway station and beyond. This anchor needs to support in excess of 700 tons because at the bottom, two counterweights of 350 tons each are used to keep the cables, known as ropes in cableway terms, taut and in the correct position. These counterweights move and shift up and down, balancing the differential forces resulting from the loading of the cable cars and its position along the ropes, ensuring a smooth ride for the cable cars. The cable cars ride on two stationary track ropes that act as railway lines. Two track ropes provide more stability. The old cable cars had just one, and they would sway wildly in the wind. The haul rope that pulls the cars back and forth is attached to them, so the cars are literally fixed to the ropes. All the machinery is housed in the lower station, and can be seen when leaving the lower station via the stairs.